Hello class. Last week I spoke to you guys about abortion being legal and the pros of that and today I would like to address the cons of abortion being legal. I would again like to give a trigger warning as there will be some mentioning of abortion and maybe some other sensitive topics within my speech. With that being said, I will get started with a story that I read in an article in the New York Times that was posted in December of 2021. It was written by a woman who was going back and reminiscing on her pregnancy that she found out about when she was 19 years old and she was just getting her life started. She was going to Yale and she was the first, first one in her family to go to Yale. So she was really accomplishing things and then come to find out she wound up pregnant by a boyfriend that she had. Then she had, they hadn't even been together that long. And when she found out she was pregnant, she had to have the difficult talk with that the father of her baby about some options, one of them being abortion. She mentioned multiple times in the article that abortion was not for her. She was a religious woman and so therefore she saw it as a sin, but not only that, she just said it wasn't for her, she could never do that. However, she did need to talk about options. She didn't know if she was going to carry the baby to term and then give it up for adoption. She just didn't see herself being able to do that due to it being difficult to disconnect from the child once they're born after you've carried it for so long. So in the end, she did wind up having the baby. She carried it to term, she did not get it for adoption, she kept the baby. And she says that the best moment of her life that she recalls is the moment that she pushed that child out of her body and felt the doctors put the warm little baby body on top of her. And had she gotten an abortion, she never would have gotten to experience that feeling, that true love feeling of having her, her own creation from her body that she grew in her on her body. Studies show that when most people who are against abortion are questioned about why, big reason that is given is that abortion is murder. I can see how this could be percepted as murder because they do have a heartbeat at, at a certain point and they do, the fetus does feel the, the pain of that procedure during an abortion. And also you did make the decision with another person to have sexual relations and you knew the risks of becoming pregnant and therefore you made that choice to create a life potentially and now that it's in there, it is it is a little human and you are essentially murdering it when you do get an abortion. Oftentimes when women turn to abortion, it's because they either don't know that there are other options out there or because they feel those options simply are not for them. A big option that I would like to address in place of abortion would be adoption. There are so many couples out there who are unable to conceive, whether it's due to infertility or other things. There are also same-sex couples who would be interested in adoption and therefore I see adoption as a huge thing to consider when you are pregnant and you do not want to, you do not want the child. Rather than abortion, maybe think, could I carry this child to term and potentially handle it, hand it over to somebody who does want a baby and could care for it and could give it the life that it deserves rather than terminating the pregnancy right there on the spot. I do think it's something to consider. That being said, I see abortion as a huge deal and I see it as something that should not be taken lightly and should not be a, a fast decision. It should be thought out thoroughly and I feel that there's, there are other options in place that should definitely be considered rather than abortion.